Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Liberan Mission. It's been a while since I loaded up some videos, been kind of busy and um, I mean, no other excuses than that. So today I did find some time and I've been thinking about what to put up next and I do want to start a new video series on my journey to financial freedom. Um, it started off kind of as an idea but i've since evolved into what i think the story is that i want to put out there in the world um a few years back i would say about five to six years ago like many people i was drowning in debt nothing like what a lot of people have accumulated my debt started with like ten thousand dollars i'm being really frank here yeah. most of it was consumer debt so credit card basically, um, it was out of control. And even though my earnings were going up and my salary was increasing, it just seemed like I was drowning without a way out. There was no light at the end of the tunnel. It was a small amount, it was just $10,000, but the interest alone was like 600 a month. And it was spread out across all of these different credit cards. And it just seemed like I was earning money and I had no control of how it was going out. I had no idea where it was going. And to be honest, I didn't even want to look at it. I just put everything on a credit card. And then when it came to the end of the month, you know, bi-weekly paycheck, I would try and pay off some money, but it was just never ending. The interest just started accumulating and it was out of control. And as Dave Ramsey says, you know, um, I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. So what happened? How did I go from drowning in debt um, financially? Six years forward, I'm actually comfortable, stress-free, no debt except for the house mortgage. So it all started with self-realization that I didn't want to live this way. I wanted to be able to have control over my life. I was not having control because the money situation wasn't there. Um, I felt false, like people thought I was successful and I was successful. I just had no money management skills. So I want to begin with the first in the video series, what I did. Hopefully you'll get something out of it and it'll help you. I am not a financial advisor. I don't want to put it out there. I'm just sharing with, with you on what worked for me. And really the first step to my journey started with a $3 notebook that I bought at Ross on clearance. Um, and I sat down and just wrote out all of my credit card debt. I, I didn't even put it in order. It wasn't like the snowball method or the avalanche method, nothing like that. I just listed out all of the credit card debts that I had, every single one. Macy's, Nordstrom, you know, Capital One, Citibank, and Taylor's were all over the place. And so that was the first step write down all of my debt. Um, didn't want to hide from it anymore. I just wanted to be honest with this $3 notebook. It was very painful, I won't lie. To see the numbers in black and white was shocking. And I, when I totaled it up, it was $10,000. Um, so first thing I did, and this may not work for everyone, I happened to get one of those offers from, I believe it was Chase, and it was one of those interest-free, uh, one year to pay it off if you consolidate all your debt. And that really was the lifeline for me. So I wrote myself a check for $10,000, and then I had 12 months to pay it off. So I divided that by 10,000 by 12, and it worked out to something like $600 a paycheck or $500 a paycheck. So that's what I did. I cashed that check, paid off all the credit cards. And then with my $3 notebook, I wrote down my salary 
And I started by, you know, every time I got paid on a bi-weekly scheme, first thing I did was pay $500 off on that Chase check. Um, no interest, so I, nothing else. First thing I did was pay it off. And that's where I started. Stay tuned for video number two, when I'll come back with the next steps that I did. Bye everyone.